Good Friday morning, everybody. Good, good Friday morning, I guess I should say, for this morning. It's a quiet start to Friday and for the Easter holiday weekend. Not seeing a great deal of major problems out there for right now. Again, the severe weather, the threat we had from yesterday, that's gone. The flash flooding threat, that's gone. And looking at a few drizzly showers for this morning and into the rest of the forecast as we go into the rest of the day. But that's really about it. So outside of needing an umbrella and hanging on to it because we'll be looking for some pretty breezy conditions across the Mid-South, that's going to be about the main thrust of the forecast for the main part of the day for today. If you've never been here before, welcome to our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Drop your location and your weather reports if you have them into the comments section. We'll read off some of those as they scroll by out there. Weather as in temperature, uh, wind speed, direction, if you got any rainfall from last night, sky cover, stuff like that. Uh, if you can't stick around for the whole thing, we usually go about maybe 10 minutes on here, 15 minutes, depending on how much time we have to talk about stuff. And if you have any need to check the forecast out and go, that's cool. Just stop back by another time. Forecast scrolling bar in the blue portion of the screen right down there. And you can check out our latest 7 to 10 day forecast. That's available at wreg.com slash weather for more details on that. Coming up throughout the rest of the weekend, looking again at some good conditions out there for Easter sunrise services and for anything going on, church-related activities out there across the Mid-South or just getting out for some sunshine. That's also looking pretty good into the course of the next couple of days. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Currently, again, drizzly, cloudy, a little breezy, and definitely not where the temperatures are supposed to be for this time of the year. Back in the upper 40s to lower 50s for high temperatures. This is going to be about 20 degrees below normal for this time of the year in this area of the country. So some pretty chilly numbers out there. Enjoy it while you can because I'm sure the 90s are lurking out there somewhere in about the next month or so as things go along. So enjoy the cooler temperatures while they last because they're more than likely not going to be sticking around for a while. From former mayor, current meteorologist Sam Reichard in Olive Branch, Mississippi, the view from the Looking back to the northwest for this morning, showing again some fairly chilly conditions and a bit of a wind chill out there back in the mid-30s with winds out of the north at 17 miles per hour at the Olive Branch Airport. So definitely a bit brisk out there. And thanks to Mr. Riker for the weather underground camera there. From around Baptist DeSoto in South Haven, traffic is moving along. Roadways damp. They're not quite dry all over the place just yet. But a lot of cloud cover out there and some scattered light drizzle will be possible off and on throughout the rest of the morning across the Mid-South. A little bit less in the way of sunshine in Oxford, more drizzle and clouds. This is an old picture here. Unfortunately, it looks like we've got a change in connection, so we'll have to set that back up again. North winds at 20 miles per hour at the airport in Oxford. We've got wind chills in the 30s. Current temperatures in the 40s and light drizzle being reported at the University of Mississippi. Airport delays here in the Mid-South area at Memphis International. Cloudy with showers, but not seeing any delays at this time, 15 minutes or less. So good news there. Lots of delays to report earlier today around the country, including a ground stop program in Atlanta for the weather taking place. Everything moving along for right now. St. Louis also seeing some problems didn't have time to get it on this list, but Nashville is seeing delays of 45 minutes plus, as is, it looks like, Philadelphia. Got a ground stop program going on. And the Fort Lauderdale Airport seeing delays of over an hour and 15 minutes. So if you're traveling this morning, various points across the country having some issues with weather and other problems out there, but Memphis International not seeing anything. More of this information, go to our website for details or go to the FAA at fly.faa.gov to catch up on what's happening. Cause of some of those delays is a storm system making its way east-northeast across the country, leaving the Mid-South area in front of this front from the Gulf Coast to up around the tri-state area, New York, Boston, into around the New England area. That's where we're going to be seeing the possibility of stronger storms for today. Here in the Mid-South and just past the top of the hour, again, we've got light drizzle. And really, that's about all that we've got for right now. There's just not much of anything going on for the time being. Light scattered drizzle, and that'll be sticking around for a while. Heaviest activity in portions of areas north of I-40, portions of the Boot Hill, southeast Missouri, into northeast Arkansas. That's making its way south-southeast, and will be heading into the area around Covington, Ripley, Gilt Edge, the Mississippi River there. We'll pick up some activity there. 
Then we go into around northern Mississippi, the areas of showers that we have at this point, very light, but from areas around Walls and South Haven all the way down to south of Tupelo. So you're going to wind up with these scattered showers uh, messing up your windshield for the most part. Not even close to anything like what we saw yesterday. The flash flood watch from yesterday is gone. So chances of rainfall, yes, just not great chances out there throughout the course of the rest of the day. Temperatures brisk to be certain with breezy northwesterly winds, mid-40s and a little bit of some precipitation out there, but really just not looking at all that much for right now. Running the numbers into the rest of the day, lunchtime temperatures in the lower 50s into later on this afternoon, lower to mid-50s for highs. And for some of you from about Dyersburg down to Corinth, Jackson, into around Ripley, Tennessee to Ripley, Mississippi, it's going to be a little chilly and a little drizzly throughout the rest of the day. Now down toward Clarksdale, Helena, West Helena, Batesville, you might make the mid to upper 50s, but beyond that, not much of anything seen in the way of regular warm temperatures like we normally see at this time of the year. The rest of the evening, that cooler air wrapping around the backside of that storm system will be escorting in some drier conditions out there, and that means the rainfall chances will be leaving the Mid-South as we go into around daybreak tomorrow morning. So hopefully the possibility of getting in some good sunrise shots out there. If you've got weather pictures, Remember to go ahead and send them to me. You can get them uh, to around social media or, again, send them to me at austin.onic at wreg.com and looking good into the course of the rest of the day. Good Friday, not exactly good where the weather is concerned. Again, numbers today much cooler than normal, and the possibility of showers will be lingering around the area until we get into evening, and then things start to dwindle and make their way out of the picture. Good morning to everybody who's checking in. Uh, for right now, into and around the area for right now, this is where we're going to be seeing again the possibility of more of those showers out there. Uh, John Bryan, what's good about Friday and Easter? Well, it's called Good Friday because of the events that happened there. If you'd like to know more, you can check out uh, people more knowledgeable in theology than I am, and I have several good pastors I can put you in touch with, so uh, good opportunity to learn more. Always good to ask questions about stuff like that, so definitely want to check that out if you can. Mid to upper 60s for Saturday. Easter Sunday, looking good on the weather. A lot of churches and congregations out there scheduling Easter Sunday sunrise services outdoors. And if that's one of your places, you're going to have to make certain that, again, you bundle up as we look for some numbers back in the mid to upper 40s across much of the area. So we continue to see some pretty cool numbers right on into the weekend. But numbers heading back up to the upper 70s, just about normal for this time of the year. And staying dry, which will be a nice change for the Mid-South area as we look again for some thunderstorms taking place midweek into late during the week. That's where we could see again the possibility of more activity there. Now, could we be looking at severe weather purposes here into the end of the week? It's possible, but for right now, it's still very much in advance. So we've got a long time to see what actually happens here. There are signs we could be looking at a more active pattern, but it does not appear to be the possibility of anything major coming our way at this point. So again, so far so good on that, but otherwise not bad across much of the Mid-South. Uh, William Skage from Detroit, 46 degrees and a high of 47. Sounds like you've almost hit the high temperatures for today. Thank you very much for checking in from up north. Rest of the forecast, pretty mild for this time of the year, back in the upper 70s to around the lower 80s. And by next weekend, closing out April, back in the upper 70s to lower 80s with some lingering chances of showers across the Mid-South as we look into the end of the month and starting a brand new one relatively soon. Again, not seeing a lot of major changes out there and otherwise not picking up a lot of major amounts of problems with weather for now, but we need to watch that very carefully and we'll be doing that throughout the rest of the next several days, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. I'll have updates on your forecast coming up throughout the rest of the morning on News Channel 3, and of course we'll have Jim Jaggers in here later on tonight for your forecast leading you into the weekend from Friday night all the way through the Easter holiday on Sunday and then also looking again at the possibility of again more of those thunderstorms later on. I'll update that forecast for you on air and of course online throughout the rest of the weekend so definitely stay tuned for more on that. Thanks to everybody for stopping by. Thanks again for all the weather reports out there in the comments section and stick around for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend. Thanks for joining us for Weather Overtime for Friday morning.